Hi everybody, let's talk vibrato today. Vibrato is so important. Everybody wants to know how can I make my vibrato better? Well, let me help you with that. First, let's talk about the basic motion for vibrato. There are two motions we need to have. One of them is with our finger all the way up like so, and the other with our finger back. When the finger's back, it's flat, and it's kind of like a loaded spring here. When it's up, it is completely curved like this. So I exaggerate my curve over here, and I'm back, and up, and back, and up, and back, and up. That's the basic way that I do the vibrato. Back, up, back, up. It's kind of like I'm hitting a wall. So it's like up, up, back, up, back, up. That's my feeling of the vibrato. Up, 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 up. And you see, I throw my finger there. Up, 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 like that. So up, load the spring, up, load the spring, up. The exercises I'm going to show you are going to help you do vibrato by reinforcing our back and our up positions. So I get these exercises from a great book by Simon Fisher called Warming Up. There's one for viola. There's another for violin. They're the same book. And on page uh, 18, there's a thing called Vibrating in Rhythms with a Metronome. As you all probably know by now, I love the tonal energy metronome. It looks like this. I have it set on 4-4 four, four, and with a voice counting with the metronome One, at the same time. Two, like three. this. And I have it counting on 4. And the first exercise I do is like a dotted rhythm, but actually all I'm doing is going 1, 2, 3, 4. But when I do that, I count. I go up, 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 up. You can notice my up is very fast. Up, my back is very slow. Up, back, up, back, up. That is the way that I'm going to do one, this exercise. Two, three, For now, I'm going to set four, the metronome to number one, 50. Two, Not too three, fast so that we four, all can figure this one, out. Okay? Two, so here's the three, first one. Four, very simple. One, two, two up, three, up. Four. Like so. One, now you can see when I'm doing that motion, I'm slow to go back and fast to go up. I'm really, really working my finger. I pretend that my fingertip right there touching the string is like a ball that's rolling. I make sure that this joint is very loose. There's a great exercise just to loosen the joint like this. But that joint is always bending back and forth, and I'm very, very aware of that. The second exercise, line two, is basically just eighth notes going like so. One, two, three, four. Four. Up, up, two, up, up, three, up, up, four. up, up. One, two, two three, three, four. four. Up, One, up. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like One, so. Two, you notice I do it with two measures. One down bow, one up bow. Then I go to the next. The next rhythm is very simple. It's an eighth note and two sixteenths. So it's going to look like two, this. Three, three four. four. Up, one, up, up, two, up. Three, up, 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 four. up. One, up, 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 two, up. Three, four. four. Up. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like that. One. So, very simple. Two, now the next one has a syncopation. I love syncopations. And basically it's the same thing, but the finger's going to go in a different rhythm. One, so that sounds like this. Two, two three, three, four. four. Up, one, up, up, two, up. Three, up, 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 four. up. One, two, three, ready, 
Start. One, two, up, 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 up. I ran out of bow on the first one, but I don't beat myself up. It doesn't bother me because I know that I can practice this for a long time and I'm just trying to get my vibrato better. So when we make mistakes, it is no big deal. It's a good thing. We all make mistakes. So just keep on trying to do this. If you take three or four months and do this every single day, I guarantee that your vibrato is going to get a whole bunch better. You won't believe it. Okay, now the next rhythm that we do is similar to the third, one, which goes like two, this. Three, three four, four, up, one, up, up, two, up, three, up, 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 four, up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like one, so. Two. Okay, now the next rhythm is a little more complicated. I call it the Sicilian rhythm. So one, it goes like this. Two, three, four, up, 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 one, two, three, Sicilian, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, up, 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 like that. And the next rhythm is just straight sixteenth notes, up, 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 two. Up, 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 up. One, two, three, four. Up, 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 up. Three, four. Like that. Okay? So we have that. And finally, the last one is just straight 16th notes, trying to get starting an even vibrato, like so. Up, 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 Finish up with a nice vibrato. Like that. Two. So at the end, I just see how my vibrato is doing. That's it. So that's really a run through the exercises. I hope you'll do them along with me so you can replay the video and just kind of see what's going on or you can write them down. We can, it's not that hard to figure this exercise out and you can make up your own rhythms or you can use different fingers. In one, other words, you can use a third two, finger. Here's a third three, finger here, different four. string. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, different finger, four. different position, double stops. We can do it in any way. But even if we just do one finger, it really, really helps me get the idea of the back up, back up position. And it really, really, really helps your vibrato or my vibrato. So I recommend that you do this every day. Let's all have a challenge. If you do this for three months, I will totally guarantee that your vibrato will improve so much you can't even believe it. And I'm excited to see and hear your comments about whether your vibrato improves and with their, whether these exercises are helping you. So I hope the video has been helpful for you. And until I see you the next time, happy practicing.